be right next to share screen. All right, we've started recording. Okay, um, this is the September 26, 2023 mock jury. And um, I want the jurors to introduce themselves first. So Camille, since you're the new person here. I get to go first? Great. Yes. Uh, I'm Camille Marchese. I am um, the executive director of the Coconut Grove Arts Festival. And I also work with uh, the NIA. I'm on their board. Okay. Bonnie? Bonnie Blanford did art fairs as my main source of, my only source of income for 43 years. Ran three different art fairs, which I'm now retired from. And that's all. Barry. Uh, I'm Barry Bernstein. I've done art fairs for too long, and uh, and uh, I'm highly opinionated. <laughs> oh, me too. All right. I think we all. That'll work great. All right. Uh, presentation number one. Pieces start with a sheet of plain glass. It may be colored or clear. It could be cut, painted, sanded, sandblasted, and fused to get the end result. Pieces are painted with powdered glass mixed with a medium to make it fluid. It needs to be kiln fired and then more enamel can be added. Some of my pieces are fused up to five times for the end result. Okay, you want me to start? Sure. Okay, I'll start. Um, a, a little wordy, this might be like the 500 word, uh, letter, uh, you know, um, artist thingy. Thing. Yeah, it's not really an artist statement. It's just your, it's, they ask, you know what they ask, um, Materials uh, and technique. Yeah, well, yeah. Get, 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 give your material and your process. That's not an artist statement. It's materials and process. So one should stick to the text. But instead of saying it needs to be, they say they are. You know, some of my pieces are. You know, uh, not it could be or it couldn't be. Just say it. It what it is. That's that's what I think. If I'm gonna say anything about this. So you're suggesting a more, um, a less passive, a more yes. active tone. Well, in the more room. direct. Well, more concise. Mm -hmm. This is what yeah. we do. It's it's way too wordy. Yeah. But I, guess that's what I'm I like seeing all, all this, but in a jury, I um, don't. I would much rather have this information than well, if the mood strikes me and the stars align and, you know, I mean, I've just been reading lots of artist statements lately. I want really? to know how they do it. Yeah, I want to know how they do it. This is too wordy and it should be active and cut and more concise, but I like knowing how it gets done, how the work is produced. Yes. Because that's what's being I don't care asked. that you... Right? I don't that's care that asked. you sit under a tree. And... Right. I want to know how you make this. Yeah. You know. Okay. What about the images in the booth? Well, I would rather see instead of straight on, instead of the small pieces, some of those could go. I'd like to see at least another big one on that back wall. And the right the French the French door part of the back wall. Oh, Larry, you just covered it up. Thank you. Um that's a great place to put some of the smaller pieces. But otherwise, you know, it's clean. It's yeah. It looks good. What I'm saying is just getting really yeah. fussy. It's nice and clean. Mm -hmm. I, I think she would say, I know this is, but I, I think she would say uh that you know it's hard for her to work in big, you know, in big on big pieces, but you're right about having that back wall because that's what you see when you first come in so it having like big you know bigger pieces on that back wall uh would be a positive yeah it wouldn't look as busy yeah yeah 
more of a focal so, point. Yes. Good presentation. The work images pain, look good. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. I weld salvaged metal into familiar shapes that are thought provoking and engage the viewer into the discovery aspect of what the piece is made with. Uh, too much BS. Tell us what the pieces are made with. It goes back to the que the, to the statement. Tell us how you do this. Yes. It, it's up to the viewer to be thought to, for it to be thought provoking or not. So or don't engaged. say that. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah. I weld yeah. sal salvaged metal into familiar shapes, period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all you need. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Well, they could, they could also say what materials they use. Yeah. You know? Well, it's salvaged yeah. metal. I mean, yeah. What metal, you know, I would say steel and copper or whatever it is silver and copper the booth image there's the pedestal right in the middle can you oh, move yeah. it to the left a little i would dump the, yeah yeah it's blocked it's called interference it's interfering with the back wall absolutely now, now she's asking me to move the picture yes yeah it is it, the whole picture is moved to the left as far as I can make it. Okay, okay, because my my people are over it. I'll move my people. Oh, well, yeah. no. If you look at that, click on the little line to the left of the view, and that brings it right. down to a yeah. little tiny box. Yeah. Or not even. Mine disappeared. That's fine. Right. Yeah, I... I would lose the middle pedestal. Yeah, it kind of blocks the whole center of the booth. Yeah, and it looks, it's a little too busy. Uh, you and know, by, we're on taking, the by taking that out, it would really help. I would we're the, we're, crop it on. a little bit because the other structure in the back I mean, for a minute, I thought it might be a chandelier. You know, it, it's distracting. The I'm, I'm pointing to my screen like you can see me, what an idiot. But I mean, <laughs> you know that that the um, the piping behind it is a little distracting to me. Oh yeah, that's the booth behind him. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A, it's and his lighting. I would, yeah, I would have. I would have tried to take it so that was at the top, and I didn't see any of that other distraction. And I'd move the pedestal too, for sure. Yeah. Well, obviously, it was taken as an indoors. It mm -hmm. looks like it's indoors or no, in it's on grass. No, it's grass. Outdoors. It's outdoors. Right. Outdoors. But, it, but, but it's in a big tent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would I would fix the angle, or I that's that's what I if you're at uh, what I would change is that. I mean, I understand why it's there, but if you're looking at it quickly, it's distracting, and I would redo that. Well, yeah. send it to Larry to fix. He does a really Larry. good job doing it. <laughs> All right. What about the individual pieces? Well, the owl is so much brighter than That's the because, other pieces. That's because the background makes it pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. Mm -mm. My eyes immediately went to that one. The the person's getting this. I'm I'm assuming. Well, if it was my work, it would be that uh, they're shot at different times with different right. people. So you get some with different types of backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that can't be avoided anyway, because um, it's it could be expensive to get images shot. So you might not or you might not have four or five or six good ones at one time. So that doesn't bother me. But the problem is, if you don't have those four or five good ones, it's going to impact your getting into shows. Yeah. What? Are, so what are, it's a real, it's a, I understand not having the money to have all new shots taken all the time. What if the first and last picture were reversed? That might be better. 
right? To me, I really like the first one though. Yeah, I think the first one's the strongest piece, and you want to kind of have that. So. Yeah. I, I would get rid of the third one and put something else there myself. If we that's were if we were criticizing thinking. the pieces, that's when I would change out. I also might move that one to the end, that third one to the end. Because okay. I think with the lighter backgrounds, you're you're uh, here I am pointing at the screen again. With the lighter background, your eye kind of flows. But even with so many people moving to monitor jury, I don't know how critical that is anymore. Yeah. As well, I mean, the flow, you know. Yeah, monitor during they see the images one at a time. Right, I know. So I, I like I, that, but not everybody would know that. That's why I said it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, where projection jury they see the images projected for across like this. Yeah. Okay. Hey. What? Okay, my pieces are fused glass, which includes strips of glass placed on edge around an inset and then cold worked into the smooth edges. Small glass beads and very thin long pieces of glass are strategically placed and fused to the glass to create the designs. Okay, that, wor that's that works. That's telling exactly what the category is asking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's nothing I extra. Would, it's very efficient. I would lose the third image because that doesn't, it shows up on my monitor as white with three black yeah, lines. Right. And it doesn't have enough of a design to, to hold your eye. Correct. Now the booth image I think we've talked about this booth image before. And if so, this is a huge improvement. I like it. It looks really nice. All right. Next. Line of cut relief prints of original design done in oil-based ink and printed on paper. Enhanced with watercolor, small editions of signed and numbered prints. Well, the images look good. And it's nice seeing somebody actually in a print category that does original prints. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, even, you know. If I was going to say anything negative, if, I don't know if it's negative. I hate print bins, but that's just me. <laughs> that's because you don't need them. Well, right? I don't. <laughs> uh, when I'm allowed to have my work made in Thailand and and put in the booth, then that's then then I'll be okay with print bins. Yeah, but I mean, in this particular case, print bins, you know, are necessary if they're selling prints, right? Well, they're all considered originals. They're original exactly. prints. So I don't have a problem with the bins, and I would like to know that they're bringing oh. bins to my show. Oh, and yeah, I miss I really, Yeah, I really appreciate the fact that they have the flip bins in the booth image. Yeah. Not okay, take it back. Outside of the 10 by 10. I think it's, you know, it depends, you know, obviously it depends on the category or the medium. But right. in this particular case, I think they look neat. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. thinking about that. Yeah. I like I that they're taking... Go on. I like the fact that people are taking their booth shot uh, apparently at a show because they all have grass. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, I... <laughs> that, you know, that, I like that. I mean, that's what I have always done, so... Yeah, you in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say that that's exactly what I was going to say. I love seeing the ground in the booth picture. It hasn't been all photoshopped out. And... Or, or really ugly patterned rugs that don't fit. Oh, be the death of me. All right. Yeah, wait, yes, we the have... booth, booth <laughs> well, image is good. It is. And the whole, well, I, I, the whole I would straighten some of those, you know, you got to straighten some of those. Uh, yes. Those yeah. frame pieces in the back, but you know what? You're outside. It's hard to do. So yeah. The yeah. only the only problem I have is 
it's cutting off pieces on the left side. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. Doesn't yeah. bother me either. Doesn't bother me. Okay. All right. I use color and design to create a distinctive style and voice in my art that evokes emotion and projects positivity. They need a new artist statement. That's well, right. Not telling you what it is. Right. Telling us. Yeah. Tell us how we do it. What? Well, yeah. What is it? Well, I. You know. I know what I think it is, but. Well, the booth shot is gorgeous, and it shows you how big the pieces are. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the whole presentation is really nice, but you don't know what yes. it is. But yeah, we need Does a anybody, whole new... Anybody here know what this is? I'm going to say mixed media of some sort, because it looks like gold leaf, no? I well, would say painting, but, but what do I know? I don't know. It looks like there's it's some hard. gold leaf under the, the third one. See, it's like, hard to tell. Yeah. You know? Okay, well... well we the booth Person. is weird. Look at how the back goes up. It's like the um, oh the. I'm trying to figure. It's like it's stretched up. I've no. never seen a canopy. Oh, oh you know what? It, there, it, that's it, what these new canopies it. like this. Yeah, I saw that, really. Yeah, yeah. Who makes that's, them? There. That's one of the dome tents, but not a light dome. No, I, I think the I, I think, think the booth shot is fine. Yeah. I, oh yeah, I, I, I love I, the booth I, shot, but it's interesting I, to see the canopy. I like the canopy. Mm -hmm. Along with that, I've seen that canopy before. I don't think I have. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. Tell right. them to come on here next Tuesday, Tuesday and we will help them work out a new artist statement. Okay. Okay. Images captured early in the morning. All images are limited edition of 250. They had printed on paper and metal. I don't even see how this guy gets into any show. <laughs> this come on, Barry. No, come on. I know. No, it's it's really good. Yeah. There's Real nothing change about this one either. <laughs> I, I'm just well, doing that. I want to. I, I want to know what the. If you look in in this booth, there are like stones on both walls, but there <laughs> isn't one in the work images. So what's <laughs> with that, Oscar? That doesn't bother <laughs> me. That doesn't bother me because that doesn't I bother me either. I yes. suggested I suggested no. that people do it this way. So, uh, you know, so I can't just, say anything, you know. I'm just giving him a hard time. It looks the really booth, good. The booth looks fantastic. Yeah. It's nice, it's clean, it's yeah. And the images, images are, are good. great, you know. Yeah. Throwing in the rocks would really just disturb those four beautiful images. Not yes. that the rocks aren't beautiful, but it's a totally different feeling. Exactly. And I think he's done presentations with just the rocks. Mm -hmm. So well, these other images are stronger, and, and they get them into shows. I don't think the rocks get them in because there's more because there's plenty of people that do rocks. This sort of separates uh, the artist from everybody else. This is uniquely his his images, his uh, vision, and that's and I like that as an artist. I think that's great. I have to comment on the artist statement. <laughs> Excellent yeah. job on the artist statement. Except for one thing. I'd like to oh. give him grief about it, but I can't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it could have been just the first sentence. Yeah, you could have. You know, yeah. I want to know if he's bringing dye sub work. I want to know that. Okay. Yeah, for me, I would like to know that. Real nice. Good job. It's supposed to be a blind jury, but Barry mentioned his name. So I did. Well, I, oh, I did. Yeah, but we all know. We all yeah. know. Listen, I just reviewed all of these. I know. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, all images are limited edition of 50. Images were taken through the years in the streets using film, digital, and a phone. The booth is a mock-up because I do not did not have time to create a real to shoot a real one. Well, you don't need to say that. Yeah, I know. I you know, these are really excellent, but it's really funny because I've had a discussion with this person, you know, having these images versus uh, the you know the other direction that the person goes in and these are great but I don't think they're saleable so I think you know uh, it's one thing this would be like uh, serious artwork and and the well they're all serious artworks okay never mind I'm not saying anything okay <laughs> the, the images are great and the and the and the layout's great too yeah booth looks just fine these images are kind of haunting. And I would love to see this person apply with both bodies of work and see what happens. Yeah, he said he's going to do that. Yeah, Good. I heard that. Yeah. All right. Reticulation, fusion, textured, and oxidized jewelry with natural stones. Job on that. Good job. <laughs> the images are a, great. Part of statement. Yep. Good images. It, Booth it's shot funny. Is killer. It's you know it's really funny when somebody when we have somebody earlier and they actually listen to us. You know. Yes. I don't know about the booth. Can we see the booth shot large? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice was, clean yeah. booth. Yeah. It's a nice presentation. Yep, all the way around. Mm -hmm. And I'm hard on jewelers. Yeah, I I like the open under the table look, the minimalist look. Yes, I do too. I'd prefer because, that really ugly tablecloths for sure. Right. <laughs> well, because yeah. Jewelry is so busy. It's really nice to have this spare, almost spare looking booth. Kudos to whoever's this is. Yeah, and she changed her work in that, at least they changed the images that, that reflects th these are better pieces than, than in the past. Only my opinion, but... Um, oh. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Beautiful work. Very nice. Um, we have a question. Somebody wants Camille's opinion yeah, on the black and whites. I don't turn we... my own show, but I think those are lovely. Good. See, I, I like photography that says th something that yeah. isn't just a picture of, uh, you know, what, what, you know, what well, I did on my summer vacation. It, now it has so to I like those. It has to engage you. Mm -hmm. I wonder how saleable they are. It'd be interesting to be able to do two booths and have two people, you know, man each booth and see which one does more or business. Just one wall. You know, I tried that with I tried that with my own work. I one year I did functional and non-functional, and that was really confusing. And nobody wanted, to, you know, nobody wanted to look at the functional stuff. So uh, I don't. I in my in my um, experience, uh, that's too much of a you know that that mixes people up. Well, you know, look, the black and white. Yeah, they are. I I don't. There's a lot of work that you would think doesn't sell, right? But we all know that it does. I mean, just because it's haunting or evocative doesn't mean that that doesn't resonate with people. That's right. Yep. So, you want, to, you want to go back one, Larry, as long as we're talking about it? These these yeah. are the ones that Oscar's asking about, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you know, look. There's another photographer that does some really haunting work 
and it's very pivotal. Um, and I would be like, I, I don't know that I would want it hanging in my home because I like bright, happy things, but people do buy, I mean, it, yeah, I, I well, think it's very reasonable. I mean, I would, I could see it selling. I, I, I love photo, photo journalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But and for art fairs, beautifully done, you yeah. know. Two very different people will buy this work versus the other work. Exactly. Yeah. But it is nice to see a stretch, right? And yes. I, I like it. And it would be, you know, as yeah, it would be interesting to see. I think it would depend on the market as well. Uh, the part of the country as well. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. A playful take on mid-century modern design. Colorful collages from found paper painted with ink, watercolor, and chalk. Then I combine them with vintage ledger paper, blueprints, cancel checks, piano, uh, player piano paper, and pattern graphs and school line paper. Cool. No complaints i like it i, I like yeah. the images yeah i think they're well done the booth yeah. is good enough booth is just fine mm -hmm. absolutely I, I don't really know how you would change it other than maybe move the the bin to the side i don't know but i don't think that's and necessary you know i think they, it's fine yeah they probably do at the actual show just move yeah. it over so it's not covering things hey one one thing i would do you know that one that one wall the uh your, whatever you called it the french wall the french, yeah, the wall. french wall i would put just big pieces on on that because take the one that's in the back and move it to the to the others you know take off the small pieces yeah. and put the big one over there right move, move. again it's the first yeah. thing you see and it draws you in right very good point. Yeah, we're going to be working on that. We're going to do a booth picture in a couple of weeks. She lives here in Pittsburgh. And you know how some artists will take one panel and cover it with small ones? Yeah. I'm really enjoying, as a customer, I'm really enjoying that look. Yeah, the row of small ones underneath the large ones look better than a whole wall of small ones oh see i like the whole wall of small ones. yeah so do i sharon I like... spiller is a good example absolutely her, her five by fives it mm -hmm. just makes this beautiful statement and it gives you the idea that you can buy multiples and look how well they'll look together that's interesting yeah, I think the orange tree would be good straight on. Yeah, it's interesting. That could work. It's interesting yeah. in the orange draws your eye in rather than the littler ones there. I might I might switch that if it were me, but overall, I think it's great. Me too. All right. Abstract paintings created with fluid layers of vibrant acrylic paint and gestures of spray paint. The negative space is painted with latex and acrylic paint. Well, the work pictures are good. And they look like what's in the booth. Yeah. And the booth looks good. Looks clean and other than they should have vacuumed. <laughs> well, we don't know what that is. It could be gravel or something. It just could be the service. Or a rug. Maybe it is a rug. Nah. It's a rug. Do you think? Yeah. You know, I used to do rugs, but then, uh, like, you know, to cover the whole booth, but then it would rain, and then you'd have to throw it away and get another one, so. 
Well, maybe that is be. just street. I don't know. I th I think it's. It doesn't of, matter. It looks like blacktop to me, but yeah. Okay. I think I, the only. I mean, I think abstract paintings is redundant because obviously it's abstract. So, but I mean, I, it just depends on how picky we're being, right? Like, it doesn't bother me that it says abstract, abstract paintings, but I think you could just say paintings, you know, created. Uh -huh. I would agree, actually. I never really thought about it. It would be better as just paintings. So, well, I mean, or, it's just or redundant. Acrylic. Use yeah. the word, or use the yeah. word acrylic at the beginning. Acrylic yeah. paintings. Yeah, somehow, you know, it's just it's just redundant because it's clearly abstract <laughs> except that larry there they also use latex yeah right so you can't just say acrylic paintings no okay but you could just say paintings or yeah, that's either one you know but it's clearly abstract yeah, it's a good presentation. It's great. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Clean. Okay. I transform found objects into animals and landscapes by attaching polymer clay and collage. The animals are life-size or larger. Each piece is covered with tiny details, including images within the polymer clay created by Milfiori technique. I should have looked that up. Millefiori. It looks good. Yeah. Interesting yeah. work. You know, it, it's very clear. You want to know what this is because it's intriguing. So you want to know what it is. So I think the statement is perfect. Can Polymer we see clay, the though. Booth? Can you make is the it just, big? Is it, is it just polymer clay? No, it's found objects in polymer. Oh, oh that's okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. No. This doesn't, the booth doesn't show off the work well. Well, the work in the booth looks different than the work in the pictures. Very. Okay, let's see that again. Go back. The whole thing. Okay. Well, maybe not. No, I think it does, but well, the problem is the booth picture, the shelves are facing the center of the booth, not the camera. Yeah. Well, can we go back to the booth a minute? Yeah. Please. Too many tchotchkes in the booth. You know, it's yeah. it's like if you have pieces, like the pieces that are in the images, you kind of want to, you want them to be somewhat dramatic. And the way to do that is not surround it with other little Nick, nicky nacky things you have to isolate them so they look they look good they look isolated so you can see them for what they are i would take everything off the back walls that isn't the one center piece yeah yeah and the, raise it and raise it up a little the ball yeah center it. yes i don't know i just think this worked well number okay number one for me is i'm not really seeing the pieces that are in the work images that's right in the booth are they even in there i'm seeing a lot of little stuff and there's there's functional stuff in there it looks hey, hey listen i i don't know if this is the case with this person's thought process but some people think they have to have everything that they do in the in you know, so you have the images and then you have the booth shot with all the rest of the stuff. So it covers their whole spectrum of work. But I don't think you need that. I think you need to have the have pieces that are in the pictures in the booth. Yes. That makes sense. Or at least yeah. something that looks like, like it. Yeah. Yeah. I would take out for the booth, I would take out a lot of the little things that you can't see anyway, unless you really magnify it and go actually look at them and have the nice pieces in there. Less is more. Well, I would take out the pro desk on the left and take the image more from that corner. So then you can see what's on the shelves. 
You uh, probably does, use one more pro panel. Does that, yeah, I was just going to say, does that left wall, is there something missing? Is that last uh, pro panel pro panel missing? Well, he probably doesn't have the ninth panel. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I should say this or not, but for me, like, I would almost rather, if this is what their booth is going to look like when they come to my show, I'd rather see it. I'd rather see their booth shop look like what it is because I don't want to be disappointed when I see this. If I, if, if they were juried in on that work, that's above, I might be disappointed when I see this. Yes, I agree. Does that sound, I mean, but I, I mean, if you know, that's fine, but I, I really hate it when at a show, your booth looks a lot different than what your images were, you know? Yeah. I mean, I get totally. bodies of work change, things change. I get that, but I'd rather it, you know, I mean, you could clean this up to make it nicer, but if you're going to have these small things, you're going to sell them, then I want to see them on, I want to see them in the booth. So we know. Yeah. But do you want to see them in the booth images? Yeah. I mean, not the booth images, but the images. I, I mean, I, I think I'm okay with that. I want to know, I want your booth to look like what it's going to look like at my show within reason. Yeah, okay, right? but like, what about the images themselves? And look, before before uh, you answer that, uh, mm -hmm. actually, in some ways, Camille, your your comments are more important than ours because you're actually running a, a, an A plus show, and it's an insight into what the mindset of 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 a better show. So I think what you're saying, what you have to say, is more important than what we have to say. I don't know that that's true at all, but thank you for the, thank you for that compliment. I, I like, I like being told that we're an A plus show now. That, that helps. Um, yeah, he, he's hoping for a good jury score tomorrow. <laughs> I don't jury my own show, uh, but I, I, that is my problem. Like, I really don't like it when what shows up is completely different than what I see in the slides. Because I, I agree, feel like trying to pull the wool over my eyes, right? So, I, but I don't mind it if the work that is being shown in the slides is not it, the actual work is not in the booth as long as it's representational, right? Because I want, you know, your bodies of work change. And I know you may not always be able to redo your booth shot, but you know, if it's night and day different, that's another story. Okay. Well, Where's the connection this... between the images and the what's in the booth? But right. I'm not seeing that here. That's my, that, that is yeah. my point. I'm not yeah. seeing it. Yeah. So, but yeah. No. I mean, I think they have to be great. a little more connected, right? It looks like it, it looks like two different bodies of work to, to me, right? Like yeah. this bright, this brightly, this bright stuff on the side. And it's probably lovely work. But I don't sell this stuff in my images. This is what I sell. Then I want you to show me that in your, yeah. in your I yeah. want you to show me what you're going to sell at the show. But that right? won't get me into your show. Well, then you're not going to get into the show. I mean, you know, I mean, that's yeah. that's yeah. that's how, you know, I mean, you shouldn't misrepresent yourself either, right? I mean, that that's just my conjecture, I, yeah. I, you know. No, no, no. I mean, I get what you're saying, but, yeah. you know, I, I... I'm a real stickler for I want the booth image to look like it's going to look at my show mm -hmm. period yeah okay all right i sculpt carve etch texture and surface variations and more with metal clays after the clay dries it is kiln fired tumbled hammered and finished with enameling stones or patinas Well, I don't see any enameling. So I think I'd take that word out. Actually, the after the clay dries from then on mm -hmm. is, isn't really necessary. No. You could add and more with metal actually Please, and then wait. fired yeah what i i'm not sure you don't need to say after the clay dries you just say it's kiln fired tumbled hammered 
and finished. That's the part I would eliminate the the those after the clay dries, I would eliminate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not that's obvious. Yeah. The four images don't work real well together. Besides the background. I, I think they're yeah. all right. Oh yeah, the but background. They don't, they don't show this artist's vision. Uh, vision's not the right word. Her voice. Right. I'm seeing her. I have no idea if it's a him or her. But there isn't, these pieces are not one voice. Right. It's just, they picked four pictures for the jury set. It doesn't look like a body of work. Thank you. That's it. That's it. And the booth obviously needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah. I think I would start over. I like the banner in back. It should be hung higher. But it's hanging all the way at the isn't it hanging at the top? Yeah, but it could be you can you can roll it, it over. Yeah, so just yeah. so it starts at the top with the images. Yeah. The wood the the wood grain pedestal in the front is destroyed. It does not work with the work. It's distracting. The whole thing is you want to, you want people with a quick glance at your booth to notice the jewelry, not the props that it's sitting on, not the busts. Right. And not, not the outside of the booth on the left side that you can see in the back. Mm -hmm. Because the wall isn't up. Right. At least uh, the tent to the right had their side down. Yeah. But it looks like she has, I think it's a she, has curtains that probably pull over. Yeah, because you can see. Parkway. Them. Yeah, but close the curtains. I would close At least the for curtains. the booth shot. Yeah. I think this just needs a lot of editing. The tablecloths don't work for a lot of shows, even though they may look nice, they get a bad reputation. And the wood needs to be painted. Or have fabric stapled to it. You could actually put I'd black fabric it. there. I mean, the wood is actually beautiful, but it's fighting everything on top of it. Yeah. The pattern yeah. is so busy that it's fighting everything on top of it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, hopefully they will learn something from this that will help them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Sculpted resin on canvas, resin infused with micas, acrylics, inks, and crushed glass is hand sculpted and placed on canvas. Nice artist statement. Mm -hmm. Good booth the, shot. And the images go together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can see the dimension in the booth. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because you really see it in the booth. Yeah, you really do. Yeah, that's because of the lighting and it's shot at an angle where these are shot straight on. Very interesting. So good. Somebody's somebody's been listening to the rules on booth images. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah.
Okay. Um, next. My work is wheel thrown, cut, oh. and altered. Each piece gets two layers of glaze fired in an electric kiln. Then they get two to four Raku firings, creating unique colors and textures not usually found in Raku. I just don't know who this artist thinks he is. I mean, why would he even apply to shows? I know. <laughs> I I say that. Well, I think that all the time. I think it's lovely. This person, their booth shot, you can't see their work. Well, that is true. And he knows better. Well, what would you do? What, put but, posters up? But this is what the work is going to look like at the festival. Exactly. Right. He shot That's exactly what his booth will look like at that festival. But yeah. if you turned out, and this is Larry's thing, if you turned out the pedestals so that the back end is a little bit further towards the center, even just a few inches, you'd be able to see the magnificent of the pieces. Um, can it's I make a the, comment? It's missing the Starbucks cup. <laughs> yeah. And and the name and the name uh, tag that was on the right, and yeah. the boxes that were blocking the the entrance. Um, okay. Have you considered doing? No. Has this person considered doing a large image of their work on the two back walls? Just yes. one on each. Yes. Okay. Um, the, I would do that because that would draw people in even more. In terms of in terms of the work, though, the the idea, my idea. Okay, it's my stuff, but the the idea is to get you know when you walk into the booth, it blocks out everything that's a, that's not in the booth, so that you can actually turn and actually look at each piece individually. Yeah. So, that's why, you know, I mean, from the front view, it's really difficult to uh, get that, you know, because of the perspective, it's hard to see the work and stuff unless you blow it up. But it's basically for, um, uh, you know, the viewer when they walk in to see the what's on the side. And I just want to show, I want to show what the booth looks like when you're in the, in the you know, there. But I think the images on the back wall would be great. Uh, either that or you could do two small the, the the artist could do two small shelves on either side and put a vessel there. Yeah. Instead of a photo. Like you have the rather, up here. I would do so I, I well I would rather see a photo because then you can make it four times life size. Yeah. They drew the photos really draw people into the booth. Now, whoever's booth this is. It is a beautiful booth. You guys know whose booth it is. Yes. <laughs> and you it. should check if this person wants banners. I had my banners done at Vistaprint. Yeah, me too. I, I actually have a banner. Okay. And you can Not, get one. But it one has banner, my name on it. One banner yeah. that has your name on it. Then you cannot use that. In I your can't booth use shot. it in the booth shot. No, but I can get banners. You can make. use it at a show. Yeah, I can use banners at just the work. This would, I mean, honestly, like this would not. This this booth shot wouldn't keep you out of any festival. I mean, I I see the idea of putting the images on the back wall for sales and to draw people in, but for jurying, this is perfect. I think it's real. Yeah. Yeah. And it's darn good. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, can you go to the images for a second? Yeah. Big are you people right okay four, with these images? All four. All four. Or you can... Well, they're, first of all, they're well shot. Mm -hmm. Is that because uh, Larry did them? No, actually, Barry shot them. I sh hey, I shot them with uh with my uh, iPhone four uh fourteen. Woohoo! Very impressive. I, you know, the work images are spectacular. Hopefully, you know that already. Well, I I try. The um, I I was wondering about um. Uh. 
using the teapot with the other three. Now, these, these are the things that I make. So um, I want to put a teapot in there. Well, yeah, it looks great. You okay with my choice of images? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to shut up. <laughs> yes, because the other artists can't ask questions. <laughs> that's, well, that's perks. <laughs> I'm a stickler, can I say? Yeah. Okay. Hey, listen, I have that hard I have a hard time when I do when I jury shows to shut up, you know, especially if we're in the room, you know, it's hard not to talk. Oh, it's impossible not to. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Next. My technique involves multiple exposures, reflections, and intentional camera movement adding depth and interest to my work. I prefer to showcase my images on metal or canvas with float frames. Yeah. Uh, nice professional great. images. Yeah. 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 Um, I thought so also. And actually he had another image that I dropped into the number three spot. No, no, go no. back. I like the number three the best. That's yes. That's the best images. That's, that's the best one. group. Okay. Right. See, I'm wrong. Is that hey Larry, are these what? yours? No. Okay. No. I like the number one image the best, the carousel. It makes my eyes hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's not hey, blow it up. the Let's, piece. Let show that that first image kind of blow it up so that you know cuz oh that'd be you know what that's a <laughs> that's a little difficult if you're if you're looking, you know, at the images one at a time on a screen, that's a little tough, you know. Uh it what what do you guys think? It almost looks blurry. I'd be going for my focus button. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I think if you see, you know, you see all you see it. I think you'd realize that that is how it's supposed to be, especially when you read the artist statement what? and it says intentional camera movement. I don't yes. think. Oh it's yeah. Wrong. Oh okay. No. Right. no. I mean, okay. yeah. Yeah. As as long as you've got that in your artist statement, then yeah, there's what no they're question. doing. That's right. That's what the statement is for. <laughs> hey, listen, yeah. I have a question about that. Like I glossed over the I glossed over the uh, the statement and then looked at the work. And if I'd actually read it carefully, uh, I would actually not have asked, you know, not have said, oh, this is really blurry. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think jurors actually do like what I just did? Or do you think they actually take that seriously well, it, and read it? It's read yeah. out loud, right? Yeah. No, not I mean, all not the time. Not in not every show, no, um, and not in every, not in every, you know, not in every case, right? Mm -hmm. Like I always read mixed media because it's so widely varying that the jurors should need to know. But I would probably read this because it's it's telling you that there's something different, you know. Um, but the jurors can read the statement. And nine times out of ten, now they're lo they're looking at them on a screen. So, mm -hmm. you know, you during know, but... monitor during, I always mm -hmm. read the statement because yeah. I've got as much time as I want. So I always read the artist statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, as a photographer, I I know what the number one image is, and that's and and I that's why I like it the best. That's in New, New Orleans, right? I, I don't know where. Oh, okay. But just the way it was created. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to skip this one because nobody yeah. likes the starfish but me. It doesn't no. go with everything else. I mean, no. It, no you've got all these yeah, lovely yeah. images, you know, right. city. It's not consistent with the other work. Okay. Right. All right. Paintings begin with watercolor pencil sketch on stretch canvas, followed by strategically placed metal leaf. 
Some of the metals shine through the oil paint while some remain untouched to complete the surrealist composition. Artist statement is too wordy. Mm -hmm. You have I to be able to the... follow it very quickly. Yeah, and it has to make the... sense. Leave out the second sentence. Yeah, that's not necessary. I would leave out the part while some remain untouched to complete the surrealistic composition. Mm -hmm. I don't think that these are surrealistic at all, but you know, so whether it is or isn't, it doesn't really matter. It shouldn't even be in there. Booth image is nice. What's interesting with the booth shot is you can see just how large that first one is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I would leave out that second sentence, actually. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. All right. I would almost move the second image, change that with the first image. Yeah, I could so see that. So that it has more of a statement. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, it's more of something that you could relate to. Well, I don't care about relating, but... It has more with the yellow bars. It makes more of a of a statement. Well, yeah, for a hot minute, I thought that that might be uh, a glass necklace, which it just, just right. I mean, just really quick. So if it was switched, that you would never even that would have even yeah. crossed my mind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. But it's lovely work. Yes. It's well done. Okay. My creative creatures are acrylics on salvaged backgrounds, many with found objects. Textures are made with palette knives and frosted tips. Some have become more sculptural three to five inches off the base. I think I would clean up the artist uh, statement, or the you know the statement. No, I agree. The fourth image, I would love to see that changed to a different image. Is that cut off? Is that cropped? No, I mean, no I idea. It. That's the way it was sent to me. But the. It's very busy, but without the same impact right. as the others. Yeah. It, the middle two, I would change the background. That is the image. That, that's the piece. part of it. Uh, yeah. Really? So it's yeah. mounted on that metal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like. Thank you for telling me this. That, that, that You know what? That wasn't readily um, apparent to me. That's oh. guess, that's what I'm saying. No, that's not an easy. This looks good. This looks yeah. clean. Very clean. It's funny because this is so different than the first, the first uh, a few, a couple, um, you know, uh, reviews that we did of people. There's the they've all cleaned up their their booths. It's great. It's great to see. You mean over the past year? Yeah, or, or two years, or how however long yeah. we've been doing this. Yeah. Okay. I show metal and canvas framed originals created with multiple exposures, reflections, and movement. I'd like to see a different image as number two. 
I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I, I would put it this way. It's like I have one of everything that I do. I do mm -hmm. one like this. I do one like this. I do one like this. It doesn't yeah. look like a body of work. Yeah, and if you right. take out number two and put one that's similar to the others, then I think you get the i you get the idea better. This looks good. We all uh, agree with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the booth does look good. Okay. Raw wood painted with water-based pigments to preserve the wood grain. Okay, is that floor? Is that round floor thing a? Uh, is it's that a, a real piece? rug? The rail. Get rid of that. I get rid of the rug. She knows. And of course, her name should not be in the booth shot. Right. She knows that too. <laughs> that would disqualify her immediately. Well, the work, the work images are lovely. Yeah, very, very nice. And and actually, the next presentation is also hers. Where, but they're more architectural in nature. Where these are more floral. Yeah. And she was wondering if she could mix the two. I think so. I think no. so too, because it's the same style. Yeah, the style's the same. And and that's why I said that. I think you could almost do that. I wouldn't think so first. I don't know if I would though. I know? don't think I would. I don't think I would. They display would you I, I have a think, question. I don't think would the you, style is the same. Would you apply with the first either. set of images or the second set of images? First. Yeah, me too. It reads, they read really well. They're impressive. Yeah, I mean, this is just, those are killer pieces. Somebody really has, like this, them. This person has a great uh, control of the medium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd like to see that. No, just have to figure out what to do with her booth. I don't Again, oh. his less, her less is more. Take some pieces out and make the piece make these pieces more dramatic. Well, French... Get rid of the greeting cards. Get rid of yeah, the yeah, yes. But if she's gonna show up with them, I'm just well, but but the point. I'm that though, broken record, but you know. No, no, but the point is, she shouldn't. Right. If she wants to get into better shows, she needs to drop the cheap stuff. Right. Yeah. But I don't. I won't what make the any flowers money. Flowers are I under there. Money if I don't sell these. Actually, it, the truth is, if, it takes away. If they can buy a little piece of your work for ten dollars in the form of a greeting card, mm -hmm. then why should they spend four hundred on a bigger piece? Yeah, and you could reverse that. Like I'm not selling my four hundred dollar pieces because they're, they're buying a ten dollar piece. And she's got plenty That's what of I'm small saying. pieces. So I mean, there's plenty of small pieces. That's right. So, That's right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Get got to show the... off the big pieces. And the, and the thing is, you have to you have to like think about what the viewer, what the what the customer is is looking at when they come in. So you want them to uh, to really see the bigger pieces, um, not be distracted by uh, the cards and all that stuff. In where the black thing is, lose the hello and put an <laughs> image up there. Or put nothing up there. No, it's going to need something. But one of the well, actually, everything on that French wall it should be framed. Could leave. Right, that's right. You could take that all off and put a pe a nice piece there. Yeah, but you could also put the flip in there. Yeah, and with a because picture, because of, with the, a picture with, above it. That's right, right now, with a nice yes. piece above it. Yeah, yeah. Because right now it's kind of sticking out of the middle in an awkward. 
way. But this is the kind of booth that is the most fun when we do this because we can give solid suggestions. And some of them are so small, but can make such an impact on the overall booth. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to go into this pe person's booth and maybe buy a big piece, but there were all these people and they're uh, clogging up the booth buying cards. Yeah. yeah. It's something that we all learn over time, hopefully. When I was just kind of starting out, so this would have been mid-70s, I had these super-duper cool earrings for $5. And Dick said, well, they can't get in to see any of your other work because right. you've got crowds standing around those $5 earrings. I said, they make so much money off them. So Wait a minute. You sell a hundred pair of earrings, which is, you know, that's only five hundred dollars. Right. But so I did I did listen to him and he was totally right. He's never let me forget it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give it up. You know, it's funny. Okay, now if she juries with the flowers. Can she have some of the architectural? Yeah, stuff? of course. No. no, I think it depends on the show. I think so. <laughs> I think I think it depends on the show. Like some shows would be hypercritical about that. Um, what What about I, the left hand, the number one image where it has flowers and architecture? It, that's that's a wild a real. I, I yeah. think it's okay. Real slippery slope here. Yeah. Really. Yep, because if you want two distinctly different styles, then apply with two uh, applications. Wait a minute. Whichever I don't work think work gets in, then that's what gets shown. And if I both don't of think... them get in, then yeah. you can okay. show both. Yeah, but... I don't think the, the styles are that different. I think it's it's consistent. They are the brush stroke. So and the and the color palette, it's it's the same. So you know I think it's totally different. <laughs> I think that I, I agree with Bonnie on this one, but okay. I mean, this is a case where, you know, I, I saw somebody say something. I, I haven't really been reading the chat, but somebody said you, a lot of shows you can't apply twice in, in the same media. Right. And yeah. you can't in Winter Park. Um, they're very they're sticklers about that. I don't care because if you want to try and see which one is going to be more appealing to my jurors. I don't have a problem with you doing that. If you got in in both, I wouldn't have a problem with you showing both. And if you only got in in one and you called me and said, hey, can I, I would say, okay, probably. As long as it wasn't, you know, 50% of your booth, right? Because I, I, I think it's okay for there to be some stuff that's not necessarily, I think it's okay to try out other bodies. New, I think it's okay. That's just me though. New work. The yeah. deal the Michigan Guild has a, don't they have a 10% of your booth can be new? I think so. Yes, it's not the Michigan Guild, it's just the Guild. Well, it used to be the Michigan Guild. Yeah, I think Des Moines does that too, right? Like 20% can be new or something. And I think, I could be wrong, but yeah. I mean, as long as it's in the same media, you know. I mean, if you're if you're a photographer and you're going to bring paintings, that's another story. But you know, right. I want to see people evolve and stretch. So mm -hmm. I think it's great if they if they do that. But your booth should have some sort of cohesion, and mm -hmm. it does. Her booth does, so it's fine. It, th this is a good example of uh, of who you know the results based on who the juror is because i i had a different opinion of what you could show in the booth than you than the two of you and if you have uh, uh me as one of the jurors then i might give it one score and right. with you with you know you two would it would be a totally different score and that and one and an artist has to realize that you know you could have really great work but a lot of it's dependent on who the jury is. 
jury. And it's dependent too on the instructions your the jury is given. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. not necessarily the the juror, but the instructions that they're given. Mm -hmm. In my, you know, well, that too. Yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, people don't seem to understand that a jury is given instructions. This is what we're looking for. This is what we don't want. Um, some of the shows get really, really precise in what they want us picking. Yeah. I I, I don't. I, I I'm not that. I, I want you to have your. But I mean, I I want you to have your say. I don't want to dictate to you what you should score what. Um, but. Yeah, but some artists think that anything they do is okay if they can get in the show. Right. Yeah. I want, what I like is when I'm told, we want you to put together the best show you can. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Whimsical <laughs> animals florals and folksy illustrative <laughs> scenes some with my pet black bear <laughs> i began with a loose oil paint sketch on canvas then brush layers finger painted and often splattered for extra color and texture yeah this person needs therapy <laughs> <laughs> oh they're delightful yeah i know who did them so that's why i said that I don't know if you know who did this. This is great. You, it, it is. These yeah. are yours. Who? No, listen. The booth image is really great, and and actually, these are really good. These are excellent. I think you should okay. do shows again, Larry. Yeah, it's not mine, obviously. It's not. Well, how could it be mine? Really? I thought they were yours. No. Oh. I don't have this anything in this. I'm He's a photographer. A photographer. You... Oh. <laughs> okay, I take it all back. I, I don't think I'd change anything. I mean, it's no, a lot of statement, really but you need it, I think. And I, I think I think it kind of shows some humor, which is good, you know? Badly needed, as far as I'm concerned. We all okay. need that. Now, there's good booth a, image. Yeah, there's a second presentation. The same artist statement in the same booth picture. But these are much more detailed. So I suggest that she do two presentations. Well, I think the first ones are detailed. You have to really look closely at, at everything. On this one. I like the, I like the first set. Yeah, I, well, I, th I feel the first set will jury better. I would agree. Yes, I would agree. I mean, these are lovely. And when you really have the time to look at them, they're whimsical and funny. But you don't necessarily. Sometimes what you have eight seconds, 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. So I'd say the first one would be more impactful. Hey, I'd like I, to meet this. I'd like to meet this person. She's hilarious. These are these are these are really funny. Yeah, this is and solid. Both bodies of work could be sold in that same booth because they're not, I mean, it, it's really right. not, that would be okay because it's not, they're not night and day different, you know? That's right. That's they're just right. more zoomed in, essentially. Yeah. Good feedback. And she has a pet black bear. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Do we go through and, and answer the questions that are coming up in the chat? Well, this is the last. You do that next week. You, you well, do that. Well, if you want to, we can do that after the. Let's do this last presentation. Oh, well, this yeah. is it? Yeah. A refreshing contemporary series of abstracts created with translucent layers of high quality oil on canvas. Each layer is allowed to dry between sessions, building depth. Notable for blended transitions, saturated color, and expressive mark making, originals only. I, I, I don't want to be the, told. Uh, 
it's refreshing. Yeah, that's you right. decide that. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly. Yeah. Don't, you know. Yeah. It's, it's you refreshing know, abstracts, to some. It should start with abstracts. Abstracts created with translucent layers. Right. But, Take um, away the, ref oh, yeah. But it's really and nice presentation. High quality oil. Yeah, what's high quality mean? Yeah. You could probably take that off too. Yeah. Yeah. Just say oil. Concise. It can be more. This concise. is gorgeous. You're making a judgment when you say hi, you know, keep the judgment out. Just say yeah. oil on canvas. You know, tell us uh, what know, it is. It's the more expensive oil paint versus the the, the student grade, maybe. I don't know. But I don't think you need Who to even knows. I you don't, I don't think you need to say that. No. But these are lovely. The images are lovely. The, the boo shot is great. I always preach, uh, you know, it should have a gallery look, look, and this does. So yeah, absolutely. It, you know, they have the one big piece on that back wall, and then have two. You know, that that's it's a good thing. I really love the one big piece on the back wall like that. I do too. And it draws you in, right? That's yes. Cool. Yeah. Especially if you have a couch that color. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> very Somewhat true. Very nice. It is very nice. So, um, you want me to turn? You want me to end the uh, the share? That was the last one. Yes. And then you could answer questions if you want. Sure. Yeah. We have an audience. Why well, can't you use Photoshop? I mean, you can Photoshop out your name. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Really? Sometimes you have to because you forget. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it. I've seen some crazy things. Yeah, everybody chooses a different way to do it, but the whole idea being you can't see your name, however you want to do that. Exactly. I mean, not all juries are blind because um, you know, some of us have been around a really long time, so people just know the work. Right. The jurors, so. But that's okay, you know. Hey, I'll uh, be right back. I gotta let the dog out. You know, you earn you earn that by but doing this for a long time. You, you do, but I also think that that a good juror is going to be objective, regardless oh, yeah. of whether they know who the artist is or not, and. Anyone that thinks that a juror is not going to be objective, it's probably they're not going to be objective because um, you you project what you you know. In my opinion, but um, how how much does the artist statement affect the juror score? I, I don't think it really affects it, but I think it's really critical if it's work that needs to be explained, right? Yeah. Like if you don't know what you're looking at, it's really important that you tell us how or what it is versus what motivated you to do it, right? Like that isn't that important. It, what we need to know is that if this is acrylic on this, or this is, you know, right. I don't know, sand shavings or whatever. I think, I think that's the, it, it can be critical in your score if the jurors don't know what they're looking at. Uh -huh. Yes. Fair? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Bonnie, yes. A jewelry question just popped. Okay. You want to tell me what it is? Oh. Uh, it disappeared. Something about would adding gold instead of silver make your work more competitive? No. The nice thing, if what you're using now is sterling. Everybody seems to be adding a little bit of gold to their work. If you're doing just sterling, that's kind of a 
plus. Because what I'm noticing with the jewelry is that it's a lot of black and gold. And once you've seen a couple dozen black and gold, it kind of loses its uniqueness. So do what you are comfortable with. I would I would keep just doing the silver. That's the jeweler side of me. Not sure what else to do. <laughs> Allison <Yeah>. disagrees. <laughs> you know, the um well, but she's asking if it would make her more competitive by adding gold. So I and don't I, understand your response. <laughs> and Allison, how come you're not showing up lately? We miss you on Tuesdays. Okay, I miss you on Tuesdays. She's she's been doing shows. Right. She's been all over the country. Yeah. You know, I under, I understand what you're saying, Bonnie. There's a, a question about, you know, uh, you're getting good feedback, but you're not getting into the more competitive shows. And, and you're not really sure what to do. I will tell you that the more, com you know, the more competitive shows are getting so many jewelry applications. It's <laughs> unbelievable. So it's not necessarily, you know, it's just going to depend on that on, on your jury and how they how they how they score and select because there's just so much good jewelry out there right now. You know, uh, there really is. Wouldn't you say, Bonnie? Oh I mean, I, yes. I, I mean, I think you could just have a jewelry show. I mean, there's just so much good good out there right now, and it's it's hard. I mean, it's hard when you're getting so many applications and you can only have this many it's never you should never think i can't do this because you don't get into um, a more competitive show because there are just so many applications you know well, a friend and i were talking today about the fact that some of the really big shows that's not where you have your big sales yeah sometimes it's the little small shows that end up being just killer good. Yeah. It's not always, you know, you're going to find your, I mean, I think like I, I always listen to the independent artist podcast. I, I really enjoy that. And it's actually helped me a lot in building and making my show better. I feel, but one of the things they were talking about is sometimes you get into an A show and you're sadly disappointed because it just doesn't work for you. And sometimes that B or C show is really where you're going to make your money. And that it's, it's, it's not necessarily, you know, you, you got to find your audience. So I I would never be incredibly disappointed if you don't get into a show that's getting, you know, over a thousand applications because it's just, it, it's, it's a struggle. That's just a struggle. Well, yeah, you have to I... do, you have to do some lesser shows because mm -hmm. uh, there's not enough really good ones and it's really, and the co competition's fierce, so you you know, like for me, if I get into two or three in, in a year of the best shows, mm -hmm. I'm really that makes my year, and then I fill in with these other shows, and yeah. you have to do that. But you also know that sometimes a, a good show isn't necessarily going to be good for you either, right? I mean, sometimes well, it doesn't. You know, sometimes you find you find your niche. You just find your niche. I think you know. For me, I I sell better at the better shows. I I don't sell as well at the shows. So I mean, there are exceptions. There are times when I do, but uh, and it's surprising. But really, I I prefer the better shows, and I think the artists are better. They're more professional at the better shows. They're not gaming the system. They're not creeping their stuff out into the aisle, and they're not you know. It, it just I just think they're better <laughs> they're they're better behaved they they understand the better the artists at the better shows understand the um uh the uh uh etiquette you know the art fair there's etiquette. a camaraderie there's a camaraderie amongst that's true. artists there's a that's camaraderie. true yeah there's that mm -hmm. 
there's definitely that there's ego i i like getting it because it's because it feeds my ego you know when you do a show where everybody's work is great i mean sometimes i go what am i doing here i you know these people are all really good you yeah, know. but I, I guess my point is that people shouldn't be disappointed, you know, if they don't get into that A show, we don't want them to give up, you know, you want to keep trying, right? You know, I used to figure that sooner or later, a juror would cough or sneeze or something and I'd get in. Well, and, it and can and be honestly, jurors are so completely different too. they're, you know, and, and really, I, I've seen... I've seen jurors score the same person, you know, I've seen five jurors score the same person wildly differently. So it yeah. really, you just, it, it, you just, it, it's, it's, I mean, the best are always, I mean, there, you know, there's a handful of people that would probably get into anything, but everybody else, it really, it's, it's, it's what that particular juror sees that day. Other questions? Hi, Kristen. I was wondering um, if I could read my, well, it's not an artist statement, it's for Fairhope, which is a little bit confusing because they it's kind of repetitive. They have one section that you have to describe your materials and then another section, describe your technique. But right at the beginning, after your category, it says in 200 words, description of material and technique. So I guess are they asking more for a summary and then the later ones are, I guess, more yeah, in detail. Well, the, art, the art show or the downtown show? Uh, Fairhope downtown. Okay. Well, what it should say is the first one is the is the technique uh, and and all that how you do it. The second one should be more of an artist statement, like what 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 inspired you. you. Yeah, I I would call the show or I would you know send them an email and and ask them specifically if you're confused rather than or duplicate the statement. Yeah, say yeah, the same it thing. Sounds, it works. Yeah, it sounds a bit like it's I'm duplicating myself. Yeah, it's redundancy. Yeah. So the question yeah. itself is redundant. So, you know. That's right. So it's basically they're asking the same question twice. So yeah. That doesn't seem logical to me. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I wanted to see if I could read what I wrote in the summary of material and technique and what y'all think. Is that okay? Go. Sure. Okay. So for description, I'm an oil painter, but this is what I wrote. My pieces are created on plain air or from life in my studio. I use transparent oil paint on a pre-toned canvas to build layers, letting each layer dry before adding thicker, more opaque paint. How does that sound? Is that repetitive or okay? No, you're telling exactly what you're doing. And yeah. you've left out, it's efficient. That I guess that'd be the right word. Yeah. Yeah. Might be too many letters. It's too many letters for a hundred letter thing, but uh well no, that's two two hundred. That's two hundred. Yeah, so you'd have to cut, you know, cut it down. Can I the, can I interject? Know. Sure. Please I'd love uh, some input. So something like uh well without seeing it's hard, but instead mm -hmm. of saying in your studio, you could say mm -hmm. plain air or whatever else you said, and then you know your your other processes but you don't need to say in your studio and um right you know c considering you probably have less words that you can use you know depending on what you're applying to that would be something you could take out um mm -hmm. i you know sometimes you know if you only have a hundred characters uh sometimes you i mean i just use make it kind of like a list not really a sentence if i have mm -hmm. to okay mm -hmm. thank you yeah, just because they might say 200 or 300 or 500 characters doesn't mean you have to use them all. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Larry. Still need your help with my booth shot, just kind of. Oh, is that Laura? <laughs> no, it's Vanessa. Just Vanessa, okay. Put <laughs> that all on hold. <laughs> 
Okay, somebody asked about, um, they were um, in metal and they wanted to know if they should apply in metal or mixed media. I don't know who that was. I saw that question pop up. But choosing mixed, choosing mixed media puts you in with a million other things. If your work is metal, apply in metal. Because there, it's a less, it, you don't get as many applications, so you're not up against as many other artists. At least that's how I'm looking at it from mm -hmm. my from my applications this year. Yeah. Okay. People tend well, to throw a feather on or a bead on or a paint. Put a piece of jewelry oh. on a stand and call it mixed media. Yeah. Which a little is history. Fine and dandy, but that's one of the biggest categories you get now. A little I would history never on that. Want to be just a minute. Okay. <laughs> well, you, you pause. Okay. I have to breathe. To breathe, right? <laughs> I love you, Barry. But kids, kids, okay. kids, play nice. I'm we'll sorry. Nice I'm train. sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> now I've lost my train of thought. Putting feather on jewelry. Oh, I would do anything I could to not be in the mixed metal category. Mixed or media. the mixed medium, <laughs> she's sorry, mixed medium category. No, unless you're truly Either, mixed medium, you know, I mean, right. if, you're, if you're fiber, go to fiber. If you're metal, go to metal because the competition is not as strong and that's going to help you in the long run. Yes. Okay, Barry. Okay. A little history <laughs> of this. 20, 25 years ago, mixed media was a very small category. So if you... Like if you did jewelry, if you did metal or something, and um, the way to get in would be to apply in mixed media. Well, over the years, people have gone, oh, I can get in easier doing mixed media. So there was a lot. So over the years, it's grown because people use that. Um, but now it's like what it's like a bigger category. It's it's now taking the place of just re regular straight up categories. So uh, that's why that you know that's why people people haven't gotten the the image or the idea or the news that that's the biggest category now where it used to not be big you know so uh, you're better off applying in your in your own category. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, I agree. I'm a salvage metal guy, and I was just curious because I do mix in there is some wood and there is some glass. So am I being true if I'm just metal? Or is that actually mixed media? Are you sculpture? Sculpture? Some? Yeah. Well, hung some is pedestal sculpture. That's a smaller category if you actually fit. Okay. And you are, if you use most of those things in most of your pieces, then unfortunately, you're going to be 3D mixed media. That sounds right. Unfortunately. Yeah. To me, logically, you one would apply in the category where you could where you have the least competition, you know, to get it to get in. The idea is to get in. Which is why your booth images has to be nice, your 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 uh Im your images have to be really uh, well technically well done. You your photographs of the of your images and and then the and then one of the other things is understanding like what you know which category uh that you fit into where you where you there are less people apply and okay. then apply there because the idea is to get in thank you can i have a question <laughs> well two questions um, mine was the mixed media work. Can you guys hear me? Am I off of mute? Yes. No, we can hear oh, you. Okay. Mine was the mixed media work that had the metal background. It is not mounted on the metal. I've just taken to using that because I thought it was oh. interesting and went well with my work oh. for anything that was not rectangular. So should I not in, be doing that? In that case, I, I didn't like it at all. That's just my opinion. Because it, it could go either way, you know. I mean, it could it yeah. could be part of your it could be part of the art, you know. We, we you can't tell, so if so you can't tell, then yeah. 
make yeah. it so you can tell. You know what? It looked like it was dirty. Well, it's just you metal. Know, like, um, like you used to... And then the I other question was... It looked dirty. I thought it looked like it was a, It was part of the art, right? I think yeah. we all... Yeah, that's what you said. I yeah. thought it was yeah. metal. That's that what Larry thought that, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, and then the other was, are we working on artist statements right now? Because I'd love some help. And if not, then I'll come back next week if I can. I'll help and say and then you can come back next week and, and run it by them. Okay. Thank you. Well, I will say that I wondered because you had a piece that was like the two that were on the metal mm -hmm. in your booth. You didn't have the background. So yeah, that yeah. made me think that maybe it was just for the images. Yeah, and I have very little on that booth shot that I still have that art. So I really need to do a new booth um, picture. Happens, happens to everyone, yeah. unfortunately. Well, no, it's great. No, wait, it that's out. good news. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Oops. Isn't that the objective? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then would my work be mixed media 2D or mixed media 3D? Because some of it's flatter and then some of it's more three-dimensional. Or either one of those a better category. Does it hang on a wall? Yes. Then I mean, I would think 2D if it hangs on a wall. I would go 2D. You can go either way. I think. Yeah, I mean, you could go either way. And 3D is not as competitive as 2D. But really? to a purist, yeah, it's not as, I mean, I don't get as many 3D as I do 2D. I don't know why, but I probably have half th 3D compared oh. to 2D. Yeah. yeah. We always got a lot more 3D than 2D mixed media. Yeah. Hey. I have a question. Can, I don't know if, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I was about the third person in with the cream colored stuff. And I know Larry, you've helped me a lot. Um, and there were some good things said, except to get rid of that third piece with the little buttons on it. That wasn't very interesting. Oh, um, right. The glass. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I guess I should yeah. have said the that. Glass. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, then the stuff you said good things and that was great, but is it just, is it not, um, interesting enough? Should it be more the vibrant, detail, more exciting? The detail on your other pieces was more in your face. Mm -hmm. you, and easy to digest within a short period of time that they're looking at it. Mm -hmm. We're Listen, we're not judging the work itself. Uh -huh. But what we're judging right. is the presentation. So right. how it's the relationship of any one image to the other images. That's okay. all we're that's all we're doing, you know. OK. Yeah, and it just it just didn't it was didn't have the vibrancy of the others, right? It just didn't. I mean, it, you could tell that they were a, a body of work. Okay, it just didn't jump out like the other the others did, right? I mean, right, okay. right. So the whole body of work was okay. I mean, I could replace mm -hmm. that one piece, but everything else in the blue shot was okay and and competitive. Yeah, that's a great booth picture. <laughs> oh yeah yeah that is a great booth picture i get compliments on that um but just in general um so yeah other than replacing that it 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 really fits so i could it's competitive i'm sorry i don't remember okay do you want I mean, to try to in yeah. all honesty, like if, if I were actually during that, I wouldn't hold that one against you because I could see your work in the others. It's mm -hmm. just not as it's just not as intriguing yeah. as the other three. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, and right. not not just that one piece, but just in general, let's say I replaced it with something different. But just in general, um, it's it's it, I don't need more color, be more vibrant with. You know, the other pieces are just in general as an entry, as a group. It's okay to be more muted like this. Well, you've so. shown a lot of color in your booth, mm -hmm. but only a little color in your images. Mm -hmm. um, the round pieces are front and center, mm -hmm. but they aren't in your work images. Well, what if the middle two were round? 
See, but those I, round pieces look like a different body of work, don't they? Yes. But the booth image shows both. Yeah. But it doesn't See, that, really show the white. The plates or whatever much. they are. Doesn't that doesn't bother me, the stuff in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um See, I, I can't I can't tell you without judging the third piece, but I don't but if I was, I'd just say the third piece wasn't as good as the, the one, two, and four. Well, and the and the number three spot is the weakest spot anyway. Mm -hmm. But it fits with the rest of the work. I would I would use a different piece okay. myself. Yeah. Okay. And and you know what? I wouldn't put one of those uh color those round colored pieces as the third piece. Mm -hmm. I would stick to the uh to the same yeah the same it image. doesn't yeah it doesn't fit with the yeah. other yeah, but no. just, I think you had some square or rectangular pieces with more color. Um I might have on the shelf. I I, I I've tried to I love color. Oh. I absolutely love color. But what I also find is is it's it people don't buy the color they buy this the neutral stuff Ooh, boring i know that's, that's exactly that's exactly what i've heard from there's another glass artist um who i know and they do installations in homes and like big sculptures mm -hmm. and things and they mostly sell neutral things even yep. though they love color I, I've had I had color pieces for a lot of a, a lot of years, and uh, you know, over time, I just started to realize that people don't buy the big nice color ones. Um, I wish they did because I love to do them, but um, but they like this this more uh, muted. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Kind of color neutral. Neutral, yeah. They want the neutrals. So interesting. Mm -hmm. That, but really, just depends it, on you. that really depends on the market that you are. That really depends on the market that you are because if you go to Florida, you compare the East Coast to the West Coast, it's totally different market. Yeah. So you cannot go by that. And the problem that you're asking about the color. I have that struggle a lot because the pieces that are it's still my own style, but the pieces that I sell the most are mostly in color. But I, if you, from the last two years, I pay more attention to what people are saying, they want the images to look uniform and I don't have enough color pieces that are stand off enough to make it like a colorful enough the booth but mm -hmm. even my own style i won't i don't have that many color images in the booth it's mostly more muted mm -hmm. but it's a struggle to figure it out so don't don't go by just what's going on I mean, trends change or for yeah. your concern next year you might only be selling just color pieces and nothing neutral so yeah. just do what you think is, you like and and let the market decide that for you. That's a good so. idea. Yeah. Or make your pieces and and then uh when when somebody comes in the booth, show that, you know, convince them that they're great. You know, sh show sell what you what you like to make. Yeah. You know. Do you Don't guys make give something just on... because it sells? Do you guys give classes on salesmanship and how to close the deal? I, I have a suggestion. I mean, <laughs> that's a tough, that's a tough area. You, you want to yeah. learn that? Go work in a retail store. Yeah, I I can ch chat with people, talk with them, do all that stuff. I I I fail right at the end to close that deal. You can't um, there's so this, which one uh, should Bruce, I wrap up for you? Yeah. Bruce, I've tried Bruce that. Baker. Yeah. Bruce yeah. Baker, how to be a dynamic craft salesperson. I think that mm. still exists, but that has helped me a lot. Um, but it's uh, really dated. It yeah. is dated, but it's really still useful. Dated. It's still useful information. I mean, I, you know, I, I have found it useful. I mean, the clothes is the hardest thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
And uh, I have a friend that's working on a um, this whole sales system and she, you know, did her presentation for me and I learned a lot, but um, you know, it's, with sales, it's not something you could just plug in also, you kind of have to practice and then, you know, you want to be natural. And so, so it takes time to actually contemplate, you know, what you're doing. And, and, uh, but um, I don't know, engagement, I'm great at. And then after that, exactly had their experience and (laughs) that's, that's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just a thought of putting things together Somebody else had put that in the comments that we really need that. So um, just a thought. (laughs) Well, you only get that through experience. Go work in a job where you only get commission for six months. With a boss that's going to ride you and make you do it right. Because really, that's to me, that's that's what I did when I was younger. I I had these, you know, I did uh, retail sales jobs and that's where I learned it. I mean, are you, Barry, are you good at the clothes? (laughs) <laughs> it I mean, really I, I, depends sometimes i am and sometimes i think oh i just blew that and i don't i don't there, think that's you can avoid that it does happen well, where you just blow it. but uh and then and then there are people who you know they're they love your work but they're, they're just not going to buy it because whatever reason but i mean is there anything consciously that you know of that helps the close uh like this friend of mine told me to there's a certain point where you need to just shut up let the customer talk you know, it becomes about them. And, um, and when the sale is over, just kind of zip your mouth and, uh, you know, and, yep. and so, and then another thing I learned is, um, from, from this friend, know when to disengage. This was like a huge thing for me. Um, so if somebody says, Oh, I don't wear jewelry anymore, you know, obviously be nice to them if they want to see your work show, you know, but, but, um, that's like that person you're not going to sell to. So right. that to me was a That's huge, right. huge, huge lesson. Um, and, you know, if people say they can't afford your work, you know, it's not necessarily true. So, um, you know, there's there's kind of always a gray area. But, um, I, you know, I used to put so much effort into each person. And, I, you know, I, I want people to have a good experience in my booth, but um, it's a little, you know, less exhausting you know, when, when somebody clearly says they're not going to buy to, to not put all of your energy into that. Mm-hmm. Well, why would you, you know, I mean, yeah. why would you, there yeah. are enough people that want your work that you shouldn't have to, you know, you shouldn't have to spend that long. You shouldn't waste your energy on somebody that doesn't want it. Right. Right. Your right. first, your first comment about like saying too much, if there's anything I do, it's, I don't know when to, sometimes I don't know when to shut up, you know? Right. Right. And, and, you know, I, I see that with you and that's probably, that's probably very true. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. Yeah. Now I used to get too technical into the process. Uh, I've learned to hone that down a bit, but you know, some people are interested in that, but really am I selling if I'm going into the whole te- technique of it? So, um, Hey, you know, yeah. Allison, if if they say they don't wear jewelry, you put it on yourself and ask her how they think they it looks on you. Oh, I don't know. That that sounds a little like I'm I'm not acknowledging what they have said. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Aren't we doing shows so we can engage with the the customer or the collector, and they want to engage with the artist, not a salesperson? Right. It's a Wait balance because you, ha- you have to be a salesperson. Made, well, but the person that yeah. makes the work. When, you, when you're in your booth, you're not, it's about your selling. It, you're, that's your store. You're renting space at a, in your store and you're selling what you have, you know? Right. We're there, we're there to sell. Hmm. That's why we're there. Yeah. I mean, obviously we want to engage with people. And for yeah. me personally, everyone I meet doesn't buy from me right then. So it's sort of planting seeds. That's right. You can't piss but, them off if they if you you know, you know if you see that they don't want the, you know the, I'm not going to buy this time. That doesn't mean they're not going to buy next time. So right. you can't. And then and then there are customers who bought and they come and say hi and they might not buy from you then, but you know they came to say hi, so they're still in the relationship. Uh huh. 
Yeah, and then there are the customers that aren't customers, but they say hi every time they come to a show. Yes, yes. Oh, every year we come see you. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, there's a fine line, right? Like, I, you know, I bought some earrings from somebody at a show, and none of you, and it was a show in Florida, not my show. And, um, you know, when I ran into that artist at another show, I wanted to buy another piece, but she wouldn't engage she wouldn't engage, like she wouldn't talk to me. And I thought, wow. well, I mean, cause really? I, I don't know what, I mean, she just, maybe she was busy or whatever, you know, but she was polishing or whatever. And I thought, well, I guess I'm not buying another piece. Right. So right. that like, I will never buy another piece from her, even though I think it's really cool work because of that. So you can't yes. pull off your customers, yes. but to Alice's point, if somebody says, I don't wear jewelry, you know, then, you know, you say, do you need a gift for somebody? And if not, then you move on because you don't want to waste your, you want to mm -hmm. engage, but you don't want to waste your energy because you have a finite amount of energy at a show, right? I mean, I would assume that you just can't be on for eight hours a day. So you got to use that energy and engage wisely. And I'm just talking as a customer. I, for me, it's a, as a customer. That's what I would yeah. think. Yeah, she. you were turned off because that person didn't acknowledge you. Everyone who's in the booth should be acknowledged. Uh, yeah. But um, artists sometimes don't think other artists will ever buy from them. And that's a huge mistake, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if other artists, you know, you, you become friends with these artists as you do shows. Somebody comes to your booth looking for, I don't know, a pendant of a cat. And it's like, well, that is nothing I do, but I know this friend of mine down the way, you know, and, and so, mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, most artists are very, you know, congenial to one another, but, um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, when you're doing the show, you're both doing the show. I mean, I think it's also important to engage other artists in your booth. I think it's important to engage anybody that walks into your booth. But, you know, I mean, I, there have been times where I really wanted to buy as a customer and I've walked into a booth and the artist has been a, sorry, none of, again, none of you has just been kind of an ass. I'm like, I don't want that hanging on my wall. I don't want to remember that every right. time I look at it. So, I mean, that is, that's important too. You know, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't impact their score if I was judging them, but I don't want to buy it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's uh, well, a, the biggest way that we can compete against. Like if you go to, I don't know, Target or something, you don't expect a personal relationship with, where if you're buying from an artist, you want the relationship, the story. You oh, want yeah. it. You want your collectors, right? Don't you? I mean, I would assume I, I want to know the artist that when I buy something, mm -hmm. that's why I'm buying at art. Listen, that's the whole reason I do what I do is because I've been going to art shows since I was seven years old. And, you know, you build these relationships and, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Sometimes, you know, like, I'm I'm giving a presentation to somebody, and I go through this whole routine, and um, and I include humor, and I'm really, you know, you're getting towards, you know, selling, and then somebody walks in, and they look interested, and you just don't get to, I just don't get to them, and they kind of turn around. I'll actually walk out and say, "Listen, I'm I'm really sorry, but I, you know, I I couldn't uh, acknowledge. I, I didn't purposely ignore you. I, I asked them, you know, don't, you know, I actually." you know i engage them when i can't you know after i can't engage i'm not engaging them because there's a process of selling and i don't want to interrupt that rhythm so right. uh i might look yeah, over this and... summer that's different yeah uh, but this, I'll... this summer i had oh go ahead no i'm finished oh. oh this summer i had a woman in my booth and she was deciding between two different pair of earrings uh, and they both looked good on her and they were both totally different styles. And this couple walks in my booth and the man says, oh, you should get both. And it kind of spoiled the sale. I mean, these are things out of our control and I couldn't rein it back in. And then she got flustered and oh. um, I think she signed my, she signed my mailing list, but she, she left because she got, I understand that it's like, she probably, I mean, to spend the money on both, not everyone can do that. And um, she, she just, I, I mean, I suppose I could have made a decision and said, I think you should get this or that. Uh, but in that particular circumstance, um, 
I wasn't, I don't know. And, and when Eric, my husband is in the booth, we can also riff off each other, which, which helps, you know, mm. and he might give his opinion if he has one. And, um, but yeah, it's sometimes one little thing, the wind could blow through and just ruin a sail. But in that situation, my first thought was my response. And I'm 99% sure what I would have said was, well, there you go. You should have both. That's how I would have responded. And then, you know, you can continue the conversation and almost engage all three of you. And I also, well, I, I did say um, if you did, you know, if you wanted both, you could put a deposit down on one. I said something like that. And I saw her head was just getting very flustered. But that's a very good idea to engage that third person. Also. Mm -hmm. was, yeah. was that a stranger that walked in the third person or were those two people together? So there was a separate couple. The person trying things on was one person, a woman, and then it was a couple who came in, a man and a woman. They were just, you know, coming through looking. And... Yeah. yeah. So it's strangers. Uh... <laughs> it's funny. I had that happen. And somebody walked up and said, well, you should just buy both. And she turned around, she thought about it, and she said, I'll take both. So it can go either way. You know, I've had that too. Kiss I've this had, person mm -hmm. who said that. Yeah, I've had that too. Uh huh. Yeah, I've had the best non sale story. I had a couple standing outside my booth looking at a photograph. And for 10 minutes, they walked away and they came back and they said, We'll take it. They were each looking at a different photograph next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and they that's didn't great. buy either one. That's great. Not great. A good example of booth etiquette. I had been following a 2D artist online and really liked her work, but I really wanted to see it in person. So I went to an art fair I had nothing to do with, and she was there. And I walked in the booth, and I'm so excited. She did not get off her phone. And never looked up at me, never acknowledged me. And I walked around and I thought, well, I'm not going to give her the the opportunity. I'm, I'm not going to hail her, or hail her down and say, hey, I'd like to buy this. I walked out of the booth and I thought, mm -hmm. no, I no longer love her work. There you go. That's exactly what happens. It's, it happens a lot, believe it yeah. or not. Yeah. It happens a lot. The uh, Facebook on the iPhone is the death of for artists, mm -hmm. or or somebody reading a book and sitting in the back reading a book right. and not looking up. That's right. <laughs> well, that makes me crazy because then that person is the first person to say that show was no good for me. Well, exactly. <laughs> you know, yes. Exactly. Yes. You, know, you uh, wonder why? Yeah, you know, you were reading a book the entire time, so it's not my show. But anyway. Committing to reading a book in the booth is, is just the, it's the end. It's the <laughs> worst. It's like so counterproductive. I rearrange my cases <clears throat> or, you know, anything that's stupid busy work. And because it can get bo boring. And sometimes, you know, you go in your head and you have that little battle inside and uh, you don't want to go there during a show. Uh, or, you know, people start out the day saying, oh, this show sucks. It's like, well, we're here anyway. So, and people could feel that energy, I think. Well, there's, there's a quote right now, you know, I'm a Florida girl. So, you know, I grew up on Jimmy Buffett, but there's a quote that says, uh, it's just as easy to see the good side of things as it is to see the bad. Or it takes just the same amount of energy or something like that. And that's really what it is. You just have to have a positive attitude. I mean, if it sucks, it sucks. But, you know, it's not going to get any better. You're not going to make any sales if you sit in the back and you read a book. Exactly. You know? Right. I mean, hell, somebody's van got stolen. I think it was at Plaza. Um, that it got is stolen the artist's from the artist. parking lot. Right. Yeah, man. And, and so that, and that really does suck, you know? So if you're sitting in your booth and... Uh, and you, I mean, it's, I always think yeah. if I'm getting down or something, I always think this is my job. This is what I get to do. And, it, you know, 
Mm -hmm. There are a lot of positive things, but, um, you know, something like that is, I mean, there, there are bad things that happen to people at shows. Um, but you know, if you're committing to to being there, you might as well. You got to leave it at the door, you know, and I, I used to have a door. I used to have a store and I used to tell my, I had young people that worked for me and I used to say, I know you're having a bad day, but either you're here or you're not. When you're here, you got to forget that because you got to be upbeat. People aren't coming in here to be sad. So, you know, or be, you know, anyway. Yeah, it's very true. So. Okay, Larry. Anything else? About John? Yeah, I want to thank Camille. (laughs) <laughs> well thank you for having me it was fun yeah I want to thank you all thank you us for your time <laughs> and I want to thank Bonnie and Barry too okay <laughs> you're welcome hey Camille are you it's... traveling around like last year am I going to see you in a couple of weeks um I think I'm going to be in St. James but I don't know if you'll see me I'm, I'm not really there to see the show I'm there to help somebody really well, I'm in the same spot I always am. Yeah. Uh, so. uh, my my friend, it's a long story, but my friend is their concessionaire and she's not feeling very well. So she asked if I would go and be her backup. So I don't know if I'll get to really walk around or not. But is she near me? She no, she, she runs all the food. So Oh, the food person. The food, yeah, yeah. I think I know her. Oh. I think I met her. Method. probably she's been around this she's been around she's done winter park for years and she used to do the grove but um she just needs some help and she said hey would you come and help me and it doesn't conflict with what i do so i said sure so you might see me i might see you <laughs> that's rough though running it all and not feeling good yeah she's uh she's just not feeling great so she's, yeah i mean she's got great people that work for her she just needs backup and i'm like oh, oh, i can do that why not I know. Well, this was wonderful. I'm leaving. Thanks, Thanks again, okay. Bonnie. You're Thank welcome. you, guys. Guys, yeah, nice to meet you all. <laughs> yes. Bye. 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 Thank you. All right. Bye, everybody. See ya. Bye. Everybody that's left. <laughs> Bye. All right.